with the first pick in the 2014 NFL Draft. Well, the NFL Draft is just days away. Who will be the first name to be called? Many football fans are actually, or anxiously, that is, waiting. But if it was up to this guy right here, sitting next to me, I'm pretty sure I know who his top pick would be, right? We do know. Okay, this is former NFL football player Lorenzo Booker. It's been a while since you've been sitting next to me, but we love to see you back on in this seat. It has, it has. I was taking offense to that a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm still not over it, but you know, oh, we'll see if we can get brother. through it today. All right, let's get to the juice. Okay, <laughs> April 30th, we have the NFL draft uh, with the first round, mm -hmm. and everybody who is a football fan will be glued to their TV waiting to see which new player will be added to their team. So let's go ahead and start off with the very first pick. That would be Tampa Bay because rightfully so. They had a 2-14 and 14 record and okay. so they get the first pick. Who do you have the Bucks taking? Well, they're terrible, but they're going to go hometown. Jameis Winston, Florida State quarterback, oh, number five. Surprise, Heisman surprise. Trophy winner, but in all, in all seriousness, I just think he's the, the best player in the draft top to bottom. I don't think it's close and, and particularly the way that he reads defenses. It's hard to for quarterbacks to do that in college. Most quarterbacks run a spread scheme. I love Mariota, but I just don't think that he's able to adjust when defenses are adjusting. They're trying to trick him. When you bring blitzes, you have to know exactly where to go to the ball if they take away your run or your one or two read. And I think he does that better than anybody in the draft that I've seen in the last 10 years. So it's a no-brainer for Levy Smith to take Jameis Winston, number one. So it didn't have anything to do with the fact that he went to Florida State. You're mm -hmm. completely non-biased. <laughs> okay, moving on, staying strong with the number two pick. Now, this one's interesting for me. I, The Tennessee Titans have the number two pick. I think that the Los Angeles Chargers, you like that, right? Los, Los Angeles, Angeles I Chargers. Do like it. I, I do like, like it. I like the, the tone. I like the ring of that. Uh, the San Diego Chargers, I think it would be smart for them to trade up to that number two spot to get Mariota because they won't have Rivers forever, and he is getting old. It definitely seems like they won't have him for too long. I mean, especially since they didn't re-sign him to a long-term contract, which pretty much is they're telling you that we don't know if you're going to be here. I mean, he's been there a while. He's had a good run. Uh, obviously, Charger fans wanted the Super Bowl. They didn't get it, although I don't think that's Ouch. entirely his <laughs> I don't you. think that's entirely his fault but I just think the Chargers would have to give up too much to go all the way from 17 up to 2 okay. and there's still other holes that they'll need to fill so I think the Chargers won't do that. Okay, the Titans they are the number 2. They are. What do you think the best bet for them would be? Well they've got a lot of holes to fill. I would have loved to have seen them go offensive line. I thought they had major problems up front and even at running back although Chris Johnson wasn't what he used to be uh, outside of Leon Washington coming in on third downs giving them, giving them a guy to catch the ball. They didn't have anybody to protect the quarterback. So I think they will go Marcus Mariota. Number three, Jacksonville Jags. A lot of people are thinking that a certain USC player will take that spot. They do. I believe them too. I oh, think so. Okay. Well. I mean, so who well, is that it, USC? Uh, who Leonard, is that Williams. Leonard Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen a guy that athletic uh, in terms of the defensive line. He can play inside. He can play outside probably since Indomitian Sue. And I know I'm not saying he's going to be as productive as Indomitian Sue. That's a bit of a stretch. However, he does have the physical attributes that Indomitian Sue has. Again, he's freakishly athletic. He can play nose tackle, defensive end. You can move him around all over the place, which can possibly possibly give uh, one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, Andrew Luck, fits. And if you're going to play in his division, outside of Tennessee, outside of Houston, there isn't much competition there. You're going to have to put pressure on the quarterback, Leonard Williams, at number three. Okay, number four, the Raiders. Derek Carr needs someone to throw to, right? He does, he does. Okay, I will be shocked if Oakland does not select a wide receiver. I would be too. And you know what? Rest in peace, Al Davis. I think last year with Fresno State, your own, right? Derek Carr, for the first Thank time. Thank you for the props. <laughs> about darn time. The West Coast <laughs> FSU. For the first time in a long time, they had a draft pick that was worth in ter worth it in terms of how high they took him. Say that one more time. It was worth it for oh, the first right. time in a long time. Yes. Derek Carr was there definitely you go, Lorenzo. there. There <laughs> my man. I think he deserves a top wide receiver to throw to. Amari Cooper at number four out of Alabama. There's no one better than him running routes, so I think that could be one of the better matchups in the league. We're going to skip all the way to the number 15th pick because that belongs to the San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco. That's going to be a huge pick for them. It is. It is. I mean, well, they we know what they're missing. They're missing Patrick Willis, right. and then they're missing his 
as backup. I think both of them are hanging out on an island somewhere because they both <laughs> abruptly retired. <laughs> so I think as long as Eric Kendricks out of UCLA uh, and Fresno, and by he's, the way. He's a Fresno guy. <laughs> he went to, he's from Fresno. He from went to Fresno. UCLA. Southern Cal. There you uh, go. But I, I think if, if, if they can draft him, I mean, 230 plus pounds, 461. That means he has the speed and the athleticism that a guy that Patrick Willis had. I think it'd be a great fit for them to put a guy like that in, especially if Navarro Bowman can come back from that terrible knee injury he's had. You could possibly have uh, or make up for that production that you lost with Patrick Willis and his backup. So I, I think they'll go Eric Kidnicks. Okay, perfect time to ask you, your sleeper in this draft. You know what? My sleeper is actually going to be a local product. Okay. Terrell Watson, Oxnard, Ooh, California, Azusa Pacific. Division two small school, but usually when you're wondering if a guy is, is better than what his competition shows, you want to look at his production, and his production should show that it did. Shattered every rushing record at Azusa Pacific. 6'2", 230 pounds, ran a 4'5". That certainly deserves a look in the National Football League, so I think he can even sneak into that fifth, sixth round range, and once he gets into camp, watch out. That the guy that big that fast i don't want to tackle all I'm right no parts of that I, I like your lineup <laughs> all right that's a look at sports and news will return right after this